Hello again chaps and chapettes, how are we all doing? It's lovely to see you all again as always. As I'm sure you're all aware by now, the charges that have been brought against Donald Trump, the President of the United States, have somehow miraculously managed to stick these, excuse my turn of phrase, trumped up charges, dreamt up by the Democrat Party, those people associated by it, have managed to stick in a court of law in New York City. Now, if you, like me, have a modicum of knowledge about uh, American politics, you will know fine well that New York City has been taken over massively by the leftists. Now, a lot of people are saying why this trial or this hearing, whatever it was, wasn't held in a neutral state within America, let's say, I don't know, Wisconsin, Alaska, somewhere like that. I'm not a massive know-it-all when it comes to American politics. I know my basics, you know, the amendments and what have you. But a lot of people are saying why, why this was held in New York, of all places. And you've got various left-wing advocates, echo chambers, uh, everyone associated with the Democrat Party, coming out and championing this uh, this decision. You've got Nancy Pelosi saying how much of a, a big win this is for um, <laughs> American politics and American democracy. You've got people like Mark Hamill, who played Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars series, coming out with memes that say, guilty, guilty, guilty. You've got people like um, Stephen King, the uh, person who looks like the paedophile who Disney forgot to draw, coming out with his two cents worth. Now what these people fail to realise is, is if you start locking up the opposition of the political parties within your country, that spells the end for democracy. Let's just say, for argument's sake, that Rishi Sunak decided to lock Keir Starmer up. Now, I'm not an advocate of this. I'm an advocate of democracy. I'm an I'm advocate of proper political movements within countries. I don't like Keir Starmer. You know fine well I don't like Keir Starmer. I don't like Angela Rayner. But to politically lock them up, to stop them running against you in an election, that is not democracy. That is totalitarianship. That is a dictatorship. That is not something that should be championed. So all these people that are attached to the Democrat Party, people who are championing this verdict, which is an absolute farce, an absolute farce, I can guarantee you now that Donald Trump will still be running this coming November. I cannot make that any more clear to you. They seem to think that this will stop him. Apparently, I've spoken to a couple of American friends of mine, you can still run for pre presidency within even a jail cell. So he's going to do nothing apart from massively bump up his voter base. And believe me, I really do hope this happens because it doesn't only affect America, this guy. It's affect us as well and the entire of Europe. With Biden and his cronies in power, we are deprived of trade deals. We are deprived of their backing financially, militarily, especially when we're bringing in all these foreigners and all these illegal immigrants and everything else. We will not have the backing of America if this all turns to shit, which will we'll inevitably will be. If Trump is in office, we will have his backing 110%. And we will have the trade deal that we were promised pre-Brexit right in line. That's going to be a massive boost to our national income. This can mean nothing more than greatness, happiness. I apologise guys, I've had a couple of drinks before doing this video. As you can probably tell, my eyes are going all over the fucking place. But yeah, Biden and the Democrats being in power spells nothing but disaster. Not just for America, not just for American... Uh, immigration policy, but for the rest of Europe as well, and that includes us, even though we're not part of the EU. Biden and his Democrat cronies is bad news. 
for the world over, probably not even in Europe. I'm waffling on. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? I've <laughs> I'm trying to get my point across as much as I can. Being half cut, I hope I am doing a good job. But yeah, these phony charges are nothing more than a dictatorship. Nothing more. If you think someone's a threat to your power, your seat of power, you get rid of them. You lock them up. Hitler did it. Joseph Stalin did it. Uh, Chairman Mao did it. The whole rest of them. You've seen the meme, haven't you? All the rest of them. Are, yeah, anyway. Anyway, guys, I do hope I've made some sense here. I do apologise for waffling on and stammering on and stuttering and stammering. Me, me eyes, one eye's looking over there, one eye's looking over there. I've got lazy eyes. When I get pissed, my eyes go fucking bonkers. So, yeah, there we are. Anyway, it's lovely to see you all again, guys. I will try and pump out a couple more videos as I possibly can. But, uh works fucking hectic at the minute i've got a lot of shit on going on in my real life so yeah i will do my best for you guys like i say i'm not here to make millions of fucking pounds i'm not here to be a success all i'm here to do is pump out a couple of videos something that someone wants to hear and uh yeah that's about it i don't give a shit about making money or shit like that on my reach on my algorithms or views or all like that if someone wants to watch my shit they watch my shit end of story anyway that's me guys, thanks a lot for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you soon, cheers.